ehacking.net. It's not hacking, it's e-hacking. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the attacking part of this course. So, here we go. We will apply the hacking uh, concept on the network and uh, server created on the previous chapter. This is, uh, let me, yeah, okay, let me show you the, you know, the diagram, the network diagram, the typical network diagram. Okay, here we go. Yes. So, this is the typical network diagram or typical network that uh, I'm going to discuss. Okay. So this is the basically uh, uh, you know the how the how I created this network or this basically lab environment. Uh, you can see uh, that there is a wipe server. Here you go. Uh, an attacker computer uh, installed Kali Linux, the successor of Backtrack Linux. And um, you know. A wipe server uh, uh, basically wipe user, user 1 and user 2. Uh, basically, wipe uh, users running soft phone named Lenphone and the other one is Zwiper. Uh, while we have basically the other user with, uh, with you know Zwiper. This particular network is behind a router which has firewall enabled. There are many other devices are connected with this network, but I have not mentioned them on this diagram because we are not concerned with them. But at a time of information gathering process, you will see that the other computers and devices connected with the information appearing uh, in our result. So it is good to uh, analyze multiple results and uh, to analyze uh, multiple things. But you should understand uh, that you need to be focused on your target machine, on your target users only. Before uh, moving further, we should understand uh, the concept briefly. Let me, yeah, concept. Okay, inform, inf uh, information gathering uh, or enumeration process basically is the first step of penetration testing process. Make sure that the more information you have about your target network, more chances of success are there. Hence, success is directly related with the information. The process can be uh, done under the big umbrella of footprinting, while we have another process called enumeration. For demonstration and training purpose, I have combined these two processes together so that I will make uh, so that basically it will make sense and you will be able to understand the working uh, process and provoking basically style of both object. So the objective of this uh, you know step is to gather as much information as you can. While in the second step we will uh, enumerate uh, or the second objective is to, is to enumeration. We will try to get the user name and services of our target mm, computers and other devices associated with the network. Let me show you the list of tools that we have and that we are going to discuss. So here we go. This is uh, the list of tools that, that we will cover or we will use them to achieve our objective. You may find the alternative tools, uh, even there are many tools are available to perform each step, but it is not practical because in real world you have to work with your set of tools and you don't have, you know, enough time to use different tools, to, uh, to use different variety of tools for different purpose. The tools mentioned in this slide can perform many tasks and they are enough to get the desired information but obviously i, I don't want i don't want uh, to make you limited to this particular set of tools only i recommend you to try i recommend you to adopt 
and the tools which you find convenient but my point here is that these tools can help you to get the maximum information from the target network since you are also uh, using Kali Linux as an attacker machine this is what I'm you know I'm supposing by the way uh, and you should basically on Kali Linux so that you will find the overall process uh, easy and handy for you okay uh, if you are on Kali Linux then you need not to worry about the installation and configuration of these tools but if you are using any other operating system then you need to install them with their dependencies if you need any help regarding the installation and configuration of these tools then you can contact us for further help in personal okay from this uh, you know point I'm considering that you are on the same track using Kali Linux Viproy and Nissus are the tools that need to be configured uh, uh, because all the other tools are uh, predefined pre installed in the Kali Linux since Nessus is required installation only so I will show you the configuration you know there is no need to show the conf uh, they, there is no need to show the installation the installation and configuration of paper is same it, it is just a script you, you need to execute the script that's it but for you uh, but you know for that purpose you need to download the vpry from the uh, website you can go google it or you may al uh, also find the url at the end of this section a file uh, is given over there you can download the vpry what you need to do is to just download the vpry and open your terminal and uh, locate the directory let me show you how you do this download the vpry after downloading you need to locate the directory where you get where the downloaded file you know be there uh, what well, is there by the way all you, uh, after that all you all you need to do is to just you know see the vpry locate the uh, vpry folder after you know un uh, doing unzip and every process everything process every you know other important process let me yeah here you can see that Kali Linux Kali install dot sh uh, shell script all you need to do you need to just execute this script and this script will do the rest of the job rest of the job basically rest of the work will be performed by this script your job is just to you know execute this script and you will have Viproy installed and configured in your machine. Okay, you can see that it says uh, it says that the the, execute, the you know the function the command has been executed and 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 it has been configured with MS con, MSF console which is Metasploit console. We can use the Viproy modules. From uh, by uh, using the aug uh, auxiliary module of Metasploit, and I will discuss each and every module in detail uh, whenever and uh, the the module and, and whenever the discussion is required. So it is done. Now we will move uh, towards the footprinting of wipe network. Okay. On the very first step you know what should be the first step is on the very first step you need to identify the live computer and the computers and the machines I'm not saying computers only there are there are you know maybe there are printer or any other hardware based phone connected with the network so let's call them machine you know on the very first step you need to identify the machines uh, that are connected with the network with your target network uh, for that purpose you know and basically for the time being assume that you know nothing about this network although network diagram has been shown before but for forget it so that you will be able to draw the network diagram on the basis of 
uh, information that we are going to retrieve so you need to make a habit your practice to uh, perform the information gathering process and draw a network diagram so that you will get a better idea of what the target network is all about and we need and during this process we need to discover the machine attached with this network and then we will scan the port number to find the services and operating system detection to locate the wipe server the ultimate goal uh, of doing the you know uh, of basically of finding the operating system is to get the uh, information about the wipe server a simple uh, you know ping request can determine the live host this is basically called ICMP ping attack or simply ping to discover the live host let me write it for you so that you won't get confused uh, okay simple ping attack is actually called ICMP ping attack uh, or basically it is uh, you know also known as simple or basic ping attack we have many other tools and commands apart from ping attack and you will see nmap and others are action in the next you know in the next chapter after this this chapter is not end here it is a specifically combination uh, and a series of you know the the overall part of this chapter has been divided into multiple uh, parts so that you can get the basic idea of understanding so see the chap next chapter to understand the nmap and, uh, and other command process okay bye